Hey, this is Steve coming to you from Plants in beautiful Tampa, Florida. We are very excited to be offering a couple of our Hawaiian friends on our website. They're a little familiar to us because they're part of the Dracaena deramensis family, but they are a special cultivar called the Michiko, grown in Hawaii, and they're grown in Hawaiian lava rock. But their beautiful, long, green, strap-like leaves have a bit more character than the Janet Craig, have a little undulation in it, and it gives it a little more depth to the look. So we really like this plant a lot, and we're excited to have it. Another thing we really like about these plants is they really don't require a bunch of care, and they really don't like a lot of water. In fact, you want these plants, their soil profile, to dry down significantly between waterings. So you could probably get away with watering these plants about once a month. Always check with your soil probe. And as we said, this is grown in Hawaiian lava rock. So it's a little more difficult to probe and you kind of got to wiggle it down in there. But you can pull it out. And I can see it's fairly dry. So I'm going to give this guy a little bit of water. The lava rock it's grown in is really nice and porous. And it allows us to go ahead and give it a good drink of water and still maintain some nice airspace between the solid particles in the root zone. So I'm going to water this around the edge, saturating the whole water profile. We want to look to see for water coming out of the grow pot holes. And once I see that, I'm going to stop watering. This guy needs more of a drink than I thought. Okay, so now we've got some water coming out of the grow pot holes, and that's all you need to do. So this one is not set up with any sub-irrigation, so you just want a little bit of water down the liner, maybe a quarter inch, not too much, because you don't want it to flood the root zone. Another great thing about the Michiko is it doesn't need a lot of light. In fact, just like the Janet Craig, it likes low to medium light situations. So you can put this in an interior room and just supply it with interior lighting and it should be just fine. Uh, nutrition, you can see these guys are grown very nice and green, uh, very strong look. When you get the plant from us, it likely won't need any nutrition for about the first six months. That's because there's enough salts and fertilizer in the soil from its production to keep it healthy for six months. After six months, check our nutrition guide, but you probably want to start using some DynaGrow and some Foliage Pro in with your watering, uh, maybe on a monthly basis to give it a shot of fertilizer once a month. The leaves are beautiful green, and occasionally you'll get some dust on them, and they're really easy to clean. All you need to do is take a, a wet rag, maybe with a little bit of soap in the solution, and give the leaf a little stroke like this towards you and it cleans it up really nice, returns it to its natural luster, no problem whatsoever. Now, also occasionally, you'll end up with a leaf with maybe some damage on it, some physical damage that you'll wanna make disappear. So if I wanna maintain this leaf or retain this leaf, all I'm gonna do is give this guy a little bit of cut, trying to maintain the natural shape of the leaf. right there so now I've taken away that physical damage from the leaf and it looks pretty natural so I'm going to leave it like that in the event that you get a leaf that's got too much damage on it and you want it to come off all you do is you pull the leaf pull it apart give it a little tug and it comes right off that's pretty much all you need to do for pruning this guy now in the rare occasion that you might get a mealybug on it, little white cottony ball, mostly down there in the crotch of the leaves, what you want to do is you want to take some more of your soapy solution and wipe them down real good. There's also an opportunity here to use a little bit of solution. It's rubbing alcohol, a little bit of dish soap and water, give it a spritz, and the alcohol just agitates the bugs but you can clean this guy up real good with that solution. Check the website. We'll give you the formula for that cocktail. So we think the Michiko is a great plant. Doesn't need a lot of attention, 
doesn't need a lot of light, and you won't need to give it a bunch of water. We're offering it right now in two sizes. You can see this is about a four foot plant and a 10 inch grow pot. So these will come anywhere between three and four feet. This is a two to three foot plant and a nine inch grow pot. So that's how we're offering the Michiko right now. If you buy one of these, you won't be disappointed. It'll be a nice plant to put some green in your scene. Thank you.